Praise the Lord to everyone, and I want to extend all of the mothers a happy Mother's Day. You are special, you are unique, you are fearfully, you are wonderfully made, you are great, amen, in the Lord. And we're grateful to all our mothers, amen, out there today that are viewing in. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who made us, created us, and he sustains us, amen, and gives us eternal life. We're grateful to you that have tuned in to the Word Ministries once again. Hosted by yours truly, I am Pastor Billy Bedford. We're grateful to God for all of our viewers. We thank God for WIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama. We just thank God again for his goodness and his manifold blessings. We thank God this program today goes out to all of the sick, all the shut-in, to those in the hospitals and nursing homes, amen. Whatever you're at, amen, we thank you for tuning in to the Word Ministries. And we thank God again for all of our mothers. And amen, this day is somewhat bittersweet for me. Amen. This is my first Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Without my mother being on this side of the earth. So it's bittersweet. A bitter in the fact that I missed the meals. I missed the, the love, the care. Amen. The bondness, the connection. Amen. That we had. Amen. That's bitter. Amen. But I, the sweet part is, amen. She, her, she has another building. Amen. For the Bible says, if this earthly house or this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God not made with hands. It's sweet knowing, amen, that she died in the Lord. For the Bible says, blessed are they which die in the Lord, for they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Amen. It's sweet the fact that she's in no, no pain. Amen. All of, amen. No more pain. No more sorrow. Amen. All of that is gone. Amen. It's sweet knowing that in the morning, amen, that joy comes in the morning. Amen. And we're just thankful and grateful. And we pray for you. There are many that are viewing in, amen, who also can share the sentiments, amen, of a lost mother. Amen. Our prayers are with you. Our prayers are for you. Amen. God will, amen, keep his promises. What is his promise? He said, I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Promises, he's nigh them of a broken heart, then he saves such of a contrite spirit. Promises, amen, you can cast all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Amen. God, amen, is faithful to his promises. His word has gone forth out of his mouth, and it shall not return unto him void. It shall accomplish what it please, and it shall prosper where he sends it. He sent his word and his word healed them. Let us go to the throne of grace in prayer. Amen. God hear and God answer prayer. God is with you. And if he said, if I be for you, who can be against you? Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we come once again to say thank you. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your multitude of tender mercies. Thank you, Lord, for how one day, amen, Lord Jesus, you gave your life a ransom for many. Shed it your blood for the remission of our sins, and you died for our sins, and you rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And for that, we said thank you. Thank you for a reasonable portion of life, health, and strength. Thank you for being God and God all by yourself. You have power, you have love, you have forgiveness. You are a healer. We reach out to you right now. We come to you. Some may be carrying a heavy load. Some are having some burdens. But Lord, you said come and you would give us rest. We come to you right now. We thank you right now for life, life more abundantly. We thank you for what you're able to do, able to keep us from falling, 
<coughs> Amen. Able. Amen. To take care of us. Able to see us through. Able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask, all that we think, according to the power that work in us. We give you glory. We speak healing today over all under the sound of my voice. You were wounded for our transgression. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. We decree and we declare that by your stripes we are healed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Today we want to Amen. Again, encourage all our mothers. You're, you're special. You're unique. Amen. And we thank God for you. Amen. Truly. Amen. Mothers, they go through a lot. You've been through a lot. And yet you're going through a lot if life lasts. But the good news is, amen, God will be with you every step of the way. Be not dismayed. Mothers, whatever betide you, God will take care of you, and God will see you through. Amen. Amen. He know what's going on, and he won't let it last too long. He know what you're going through. Amen. And he know just what to do. Put your trust in him. Amen. Lean not to your own understanding. It wasn't meant for you to take care of, amen, some things. It was meant, amen, for God to take care of. Lean not to your own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all your heart. And in all your ways, acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. Be encouraged, amen, no matter what's going on. Mothers, be encouraged. Amen. Amen. For God, amen, will be there for you. God will see you through. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. He didn't bring you this far to leave you now. Amen. Glory be to God. Today we're going to the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter number 13. And we're going to begin reading at verse number 11. Again, that is the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter number 13, beginning at verse number 11. There you will find these words recorded. And behold, that was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and, he, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them, therefore, come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox, or his ass from the stall, and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, lo, these eighteen years be loosed from her? Amen. Infirmity. Amen. Praise the name of God. Be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day. And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. We're going to take our context 
subject from verse number 13. Amen. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. We want to talk to you from this subject. Amen. Today, amen. Jesus, amen, will make straight the mothers and all the others. Jesus will make straight the mothers and all others. Again, we, amen, want all of our mothers to be encouraged. Be encouraged to know that, amen, that he didn't bring you this far to leave you. There may be some things that you yet need to be made straight. There may be some things you're going through that you need straightening out. Well, I stopped by WIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, to tell the mothers today that Jesus will make the mothers straight. Amen. And not only just the mothers, amen, but all others. Whether you Jew, Greek, male, or female, the Bible says the Lord is rich unto all that call upon him. Amen. Mothers be encouraged to know, amen, that Jesus said, if you call me, then will I answer. If you cry, I will say, here I am. You shall call me, I will answer you, and I will show you things that you know not of. Amen. Jesus will make, amen, amen, it straight for the mothers and all others. To make straight, amen, means to fix or make right. Jesus can fix your problem. Jesus can fix your situation. Jesus can make right your circumstance. Amen. In order for him to fix it, in order for him to make it straight, amen, we must, amen, put our trust in him. Proverbs 3, 5 says, lean not to your own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Amen. And acknowledge him in all of your ways, and he shall direct your path. Jesus will make it straight. Amen. For all you mothers out there, <coughs> we want you to be confident today. Philippians 1 and 6 says, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you, he will perform it until the day of uh, Jesus Christ. It's the thief that does not want things to be made straight for you. It's the thief that wants your life in chaos. It's the thief that wants, amen, you to be depressed and anxiety and oppressed, praise the name of God, amen. For the thief comes, amen, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus come to make it straight for you mothers out there today, amen. For Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Jesus, amen, want to make it straight. What we must do, as the elderly people used to say, bring your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. The Bible says, casting all of your care upon him, for he careth for you. If you want it made straight today, amen, I encourage you to bring it to Jesus. 
Now, somebody said, bring it to Jesus, he'll bear it. Now, bring it to Jesus, he'll share it. Now, if there's a need in your life, now, just give it over to Jesus. Now, he knows how to fix it. Now, he knows when to fix it. Now, and he's well able to fix it. Now, he's able to make it straight. Now, he's able to take crooked places and make them straight. Now, rough places and make them smooth. Now, he's able uh, to elevate your valleys. Now, he's able to... Uh, to see you through. Now, good God Almighty, now, in this story today, now, there was a woman now, that had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. Now, amen. Praise the name of God. That's a long time to have any type of infirmity. Now, 18 years. Now, good God Almighty, uh, I would have to, I would hate to have a toe hurt uh, for 18 years. Uh, but this woman had a spirit of infirmity uh, 18 years. Uh, and this infirmity, uh, what it did, it caused her. Uh, she was bowed together. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, and could not uh, in no wise uh, lift up herself. Uh, no matter what she tried, uh, no matter how much she wanted it, uh, a man she could in no wise uh, lift up herself. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, hallelujah. Uh, sometime the devil, uh, a man and his spirits uh, and his demons uh, try to get a hold of you, uh, try to hold you down. Uh, amen, praise God. Uh, we must understand uh, that he walked about uh, as a roaring lion, uh, seeking uh, whom uh, he may devour. Uh, who can I mess up? Uh, who can I cause to bow over? Uh, yeah, uh, but the Bible said, uh, while she was bowed over, uh, Jesus saw her uh, and called her to him. Uh, yeah. Ha, 18 years ha, bowed over ha, and could no wine ha, lift up herself. Ha, good God Almighty. Ha, but when Jesus ha, saw her, ha, yeah, ha, thank you, Lord. Ha, he called her to him. Ha, somebody might say, ha, couldn't he have went to her? Ha, amen. Since she had the infirmity. Ha, yeah. Ha, Good God Almighty, huh? but we must understand. Uh, he called her to him. Uh, he was accessing uh, her faith. Uh, faith without works uh, is dead. Uh, he called her to him uh, and said unto her, uh, Woman, uh, woman, uh, mother, uh, yeah, uh, you that are misunderstood. Uh, woman, uh, mother, uh, you that are taken for granted. Uh, yeah, woman, mother, one that is facing disappointment. Yeah, upset on every hand, sickness in your body, children acting up. Woman, mother, he said, thou art loose, thou art loose from that infirmity. <coughs> And he laid his hands on her. And guess what happened? Immediately. I said immediately. We must understand that God is our refuge. And he is our strength. He is a very present help in trouble. Amen. We must never give up. Not be weary in well-doing, in due season. She met her due season when Jesus saw her. Praise the name of God. All we must do is make ourselves available. Whatever your infirmity is, whatever your sickness is, 
Uh, whatever it is that is worrying you, uh, whatever it is that is bothering you, make yourself available. Praise the name of God. God is not looking and focusing on ability, but availability. Jesus saw her, bowed over. Jesus saw her. That a woman that in no wise could lift up herself. Amen. We can find ourselves in predicaments. Amen. That in no wise, amen, we can get out of. But I know, I want to serve notice on someone today. There is nothing impossible with God. It doesn't matter what they say you can't do. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, in spite of what you've been through, uh, in spite of what you're going through, uh, you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Praise the name of God. Don't be weary. Amen. Have you not known? Have you not heard? I'm talking to some mothers out there today. Have you not known, mother? Have you not heard, mother, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, one that knows the end from the beginning, one that it is impossible for him to lie, not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, shall he not do it? He can make it straight. Or had these, a man said it, he'll do it. If he said it, he'll do it. His word has gone out of his mouth. It will not return unto him void. It's not coming back empty. It's going to accomplish what it pleased. And it's going to prosper what he said it. He sent his word. And his word healed them. Woman. Thou loose from thine infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight. Not just physically, amen, not just mentally. She was made straight spiritually. God is most concerned <clears throat> about our spiritual well-being. I wish above all that you may prosper be in health, even as your soul prosper. Amen. Praise the name of God. Amen. What make you think, well, preacher, she was made straight spiritually? Well, the text says, amen, she glorified God. Amen. The first thing she did, amen, was to glorify God. Uh, amen. Every day you wake up, uh, God's mercy saw you through the night. Uh, many die in their sleep overnight. Uh, many don't wake up in the morning. Uh, amen. Amen. No matter what side of the bed you get up on, uh, you ought to get up and declare that this is the day. Now, that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad therein. Jesus will make it straight for the mothers and all the others. Maybe you're not a mother, but you're all the others. He is no respect of persons. And Grandmama said, there's no secret to what God can do. For what he done for others, he'll do the same for you. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, when you call him, he's there. Amen. When you need him, he's there. You can call him in the midnight hour. He'll be there, and he'll make it straight. You can call him from the jailhouse. Paul and Silas called him from the jailhouse, and he shook the foundation of the prison. 
You can be a eunuch, amen, and call him riding on your chariot. He will send somebody, amen, and he will be there himself. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. After he healed her, amen, you're going to have your haters. Mothers, continue to be blessed. Continue to glorify God. Amen, because you too are going to have your haters. They're going to hate on you. What's she doing with that? What's she doing with him? How is she doing all of that? You can tell them that God made it straight. The ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation. He was mad. He was angry. What for? This woman had had infirmity for 18 years, bowled over, could not even lift up herself. And here the ruler of the synagogue was mad, was angry. What was wrong with him? Because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day. The ruler said, ain't there six days in the week? You ought to work in them and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. You know what Jesus said to him? He said to him, thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath day loose his ox or his ass and lead him away to watering? Ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan hath bound, not scoliosis. Satan hath bound, not back trouble. Satan had her bound. 18 years, should she not be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? When he said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed. God would bring it to shame. But all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Jesus will make it straight for the mothers and all the others. May God bless you, may God keep you, is our prayer. Calling, calling you.